If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please consider liking it because I'm terrible at FIFA and I need all the self-esteem I can get. If you're interested in football shirts, football boots or anything football related, go check out my Depop. The link for that is also down below. And if you do need any coins, head over to u7bystore.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a discount. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, Tim here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. I think you know what team I'm running, but I will go through it um, again with maybe the odd change that I'd like to make here or there at the end of the video, obviously. Um, so this is Champs qualified, of course. I actually qualified for someone else as well because they weren't there to do it. So it turns out I'm actually a prolific qualifier at this point. Uh, I wanted eight, obviously, eight wins, but... I did toy with the idea of stopping at four. Now, the team of the week pack for me doesn't. I mean, unless you've got a shot at someone like Ronaldo, and yeah, I know you can keep. I say Ronaldo, obviously, you know Messi, Ronaldo, and Mbappe, Neymar, whatever it may be. But and I know you can keep it for whenever. So you don't, you know, you get eight wins, you get your team of the week pack, keep it until there's a good team of the week. I understand that, but I'm far too impatient to be doing stuff like that. If I get it, I'm going to open it almost immediately, if not immediately. So, toy with the idea of stopping at four, got to four wins quite quickly and thought, well, it would be rude not to try and get to eight, wouldn't it? I did all games in one session. I have finished, by the way. Uh, you will not see rewards in this video because, you know, what else am I going to release tomorrow? And there won't be a 6pm sort of coinciding video tomorrow. So I thought well, I'll just do gameplay and rewards and that will be tomorrow's video job done. So you're going to see the first six games here. I finished uh, with quite a few games left. Could have gone to the next rank up actually. I probably wouldn't have, but still, we'll talk about that tomorrow. The team played particularly well, I won't lie to you, moving it around really nicely. The formation is still fantastic, I really hope they don't patch it. Two things that really bugged me, though, about the, the team yeah, this weekend. First of which was, let's go for the sort of non-minor issue first, right? So, the, the issue that I could definitely put up with for another week, maybe even another two weeks, Van Dijk. Van Dijk is fantastic. He is the best defender I have used. However, and I'm not going to say his pace either. He's not too slow for this formation. It would be nice if I had someone with a little bit more pace, but it's his stamina. And I've never in the history of Ultimate Team had an issue with stamina on a centre-back before. But Van Dijk has, I think, 69 stamina. It isn't good enough for what I need. I need someone who's quicker. I quit that game, by the way. Uh, I went 2-1 down. He was, f I, he had a better team than me, but he was better than me as well. So I thought, you know what? I, I, I literally fought tooth and nail to get the goal to make it one all. He scored quite easily to make it 2-1. I thought, oh, I'm off. I can't be bothered for this. And that's the beauty of this weekend league, really, is that I knew I had loads of games to get whatever rank I wanted. I've been timing shots inside the area. Works an absolute treat. You just need to hope that the animations that players use are the correct ones so you can time your shots correctly. But um, tore this guy a new one and he left at half time, which really did save me an, an awful lot of time. But yeah, the stamina on Van Dijk is... It's not driving me mad. It's not getting on my nerves. It's just irritating because around the 70th minute mark when I want to make subs, I take off the left mid and the right mid and then... I'd normally want to take off a striker to get some fresh legs on there, but I'm having to take off Van Dijk because he's dead, because obviously he's tracking back so much. So something maybe we need to look into. The other problem is Rashford. He has been horrendous this weekend. He scored a couple of decent goals where maybe a few other players might not have done that, but he has not been very good at all. Mane has been fantastic, as you can see. Mane is sensational, but Rashford... He's just not doing it for me. His left foot is appalling. And even some efforts that I think he probably should have finished on his stronger foot, he's not finishing. I don't know whether anyone else has had that issue with him. But I, I'm kind of limited, really. Timo Werner is exactly the same. His weak foot is a little bit better, but still, he misses an awful lot of chances that I think he should be scoring. Marnie, on the other hand, scores everything. 
So I don't really know what to do there. This is the team, obviously. What do I do? I'm not sure. Um, Centre-back-wise, there, there may be a solution. Don't know. Um, Kimbembe, hopefully. Red Marquinhos, hopefully. If we can get the team of the week pack, it'll be in for Marquinhos if we don't get the red one. That's not that big a deal. I do need to put a shadow on Kimbembe. I, did, I couldn't afford it before, so that's why I didn't do it. But we'll see what happens there. Striker... Ugh, it's so irritating. There aren't really that many options, to be fair. So, an icon works. Don't have the coins. Um, any Premier League player works. But to be fair, that the best one that I can afford is probably Rashford or Werner. And I have both of them. I could maybe... I'll tell you what. Something I hadn't even considered. But now that I think about it, do you know what? I'm actually going to do it. Rafinha. Rafinha's right there. He doesn't have very good finishing on paper, but I actually really like him in-game. He's fast. He's got very good dribbling, agility, stamina's up there. I might try him, you know. I might stick him up up top and, and bring uh, Rashford on as a, um, as a super sub up front instead of Rafinha. Because Rafinha makes his way onto the pitch now at uh, like 70, 60, 70 minutes. If you can hear bangs, it's because people are idiots and like blowing up money. But um, yeah, he's not going to... I'll need to change the manager. Maybe it'll work for chemistry. Maybe it won't. I'm not really sure. Yeah, because now Ra Sterling goes down. It's not going to work, is it? Because Sterling... Now he needs the solid links. Okay, well that's not going to work then. So I've just wasted position modifiers on him. But yeah, I don't really know what to do striker-wise. This is an option. Uh, he's very expensive, but if I had my way, I would be putting Phil Foden up front. Obviously, he's much cheaper than Ronaldo. Ronaldo is double this, uh, a million coins there or thereabouts. The, the problem with him, of course, is that he's only a three-star weak foot, which would annoy me, I'm sure, but he's outrageously good. I would love that. The other thing that EA did today, which kind of gives me options at the back, this guy. Now, oh, down in price a lot, you know. I, I've i looked at this a lot, and I like it a lot. Uh, I, I used the 75 non-rear corner at the beginning, and I thought he was a very good left back for the start of the game. Obviously, you can't use him now. He's not good enough, but the fact that they've dropped this is very interesting. I did see a couple on the market for around 80, 90k when he first came out, and I thought, ooh, he's going to be around 70, 60, 70,000 coins, maybe 100 at a push. We'd be able to afford it if we sold Van Dyke. And then we could put him at left back instead of Kyle Walker. But let me show you. So I could take Van Dyke out, obviously, right? He's, he's there. We then play Kyle Walker. It's a bit scummy, and I don't like doing it, especially this year. But we put Kyle Walker at centre-back, and then we put Corne at left-back. It works chemistry-wise. Gives me 100 chem overall. And it's essentially what I'm doing anyway, because Kyle Walker is out of position of right-back as a left-back, as it stands, as you can see. He's, he's off chem, out of position, all the rest of it. But... He goes into a centre-back position three at the back. So it's not going to be any difference at all. He's still out of position as a centre-back, now as a right-back. And then Corne comes in here. But the only difference is Kimbembe is the only out-and-out centre-back who will actually be playing centre-back. And then Corne uh, and, and Walker meet him in the middle. And, and then we play three of them at the back. And Hakimi goes to be my right mid like we do right now. If... If Corne comes down in price to around 150,000 coins, I am doing it. At the moment, he's been out for 31 minutes. He has come down 200k. I need him to come down another 100,000 coins because he's currently 258k. So Van Dyke currently sells for 130,000 coins. If Corne can come down to roughly that price, I could literally sell Van Dyke and buy Corne straight away. He's down to 240. He's down 20k since I've started recording this video. So there is a very strong chance that Corne could be sub 200k. He's only an 84 rated card. People will be packing him quite regularly, I, I think. Um, for now, anyway, I think Rashford's going to have to be my main striker. I'm hoping at some point 
EA just release a Premier League striker SBC. I've got several problems with, with switching striker. If I switch him to anyone who isn't from Man City or English, then Raheem Sterling loses chemistry because obviously he needs the, the two strong links. So even Werner up top drops Sterling's chemistry down to five which is obviously not ideal. So Rashford is is keeping Sterling on seven chem right now. Ronaldo doesn't fix that. Sterling still goes down. But if I could afford Ronaldo, then I wouldn't really care what Sterling's chemistry is on. It, I have options and I don't know what to do. Trent is another one. I could get rid of Kyle Walker full stop and put Trent in. I could switch the PSG contingency over to the left. Switch, literally just flip the entire team and put... Uh, Trent at right back and, and play um, Kyle Walker in the middle so I don't have to go after Corne at all I can go and get Trent instead I, I have that option, I don't know what to do I'm not sure, how much is Trent? was he like 190 or something? Trent's record breaker card by the way, not Trent's actual card so he's at like 200k so obviously a much better card than Van Dyke in my opinion Four-star weak foot, has the ability to play it out from the back. He can run with the ball if he needs to. He's got 90 acceleration and sprint speed, 90 stamina, so that alleviates that issue. And then if we just stick a an out-and-out -out defensive chem style on him, we can get him up to an 88-rated centre-back as well, like a sentinel, for example. It gives him that 88-rated centre-back. Um, you've got other options, obviously. Gladiator, for example, wouldn't be a terrible one. But, um, yeah, I don't know what to do, really. Anchor, I guess, is a, is a big one. It gives him that 80 strength. I mean, oh, I don't know what to do. I, I don't have options. Corne or Trent? I'm thinking Trent is probably better, but Corne was very, very good. And Trent has a high attacking work rate and only a medium defensive, whereas Corne has high high, which I think is probably going to be better in the long run. But um, I don't know. Let, let me know. Do you think either of those is a decent option or should I stick to maybe just using a centre-back? Just put up with Van Dijk for now and his stamina. Maybe look to improve on Kimbembe and get Marquinhos' standard card. Is he better than, than a gold Kimbembe? And then maybe look to, to see if we can improve on the striker position. I don't know. I do have things I need to improve. It's just a question of trying to get the coins to do it, I guess. If you have enjoyed this episode of The Road to Glory, do me a favour and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye.